Hey guys, quick interjection. Shout out to my buddy Mike Fleming and his lovely wife for sending me in Kel's hats. Um, <clears throat> double bit tree service. Uh, he's out of Wyoming. But anyway, his fellow Washington guy uh, knows a lot of the same folks I, we do. But uh, anyway, you're going to want to stay till the end of the video to figure out what's actually going on. And um, this day was pretty crappy um, to say the least it just been kind of in the dumps the last few days um, worried about <laughs> bills and life and everything else so stay to the end of the movie um, and I'll explain more what's going on everyone damn look at them dandies <laughs> holy smokes but I'm only going to cut a load out of here. The only reason I'm cutting one load out of here, <clears throat> it's quite a ways for me to come. It's, uh, that, and the only reason I come up in here is because I heard a few guys saying that there was still decks of logs up in here. But one of my partners cuts right here. He's got his mark right on that block of wood now it's a free-for-all you know i just ran into him down the road here he's like shit you found me <laughs> but uh i'm gonna cut one load out of here and then he can have this little spot i have my own special spots you know but uh you know it's just it's just respect towards the other cutters you know in the winter time when it gets hard to get wood and stuff like that we all got to go where the loggers are you know and then we'll all group up like that but i for me anyway i always try to leave people's areas alone especially like him he's been in here cutting the heck out of wood he's got a family to feed i have my own spots like i said but uh the only reason i did come up in here was because i heard there were still decks of logs and i thought oh what the heck i'll go up in there but you know i could sit here and cut next to him i'm sure he wouldn't care but i don't know i just I don't I don't get off on doing that you know he's this is what we do for a living and uh, you know he found this spot and is what it is like I said it's a little far for me to come this way um, the areas I usually cut is mainly highway and then a few miles of dirt road this is all dirt road it's a long ways out of town but anyhow I'm gonna get busy. I'm gonna drop two of these trees and then uh, whatever's left he can have. So, anyway, I'm gonna get busy. So, when I was down here talking to my buddy Josh, we were talking about the firewood cutter who passed away last year. His name was Gerald Zacherly. He uh, was a hell of a cutter. He's just telling me a story about when they first. They both found this hole right around the same time, and he said there was just hundreds of trees in here that were dead. They were teasing each other every day. They were up in here cutting. Get out of here. It's my spot, my spot. Check this out. That right there, that's Gerald Zachary Lee's mark. <clears throat> it's pretty cool to see. I mean, sad that he's gone. He was one hell of a cutter. Josh was just saying, he goes, yeah, when my truck would be down, I'd be sitting at the house. See Gerald go by, it'd still be mid-morning. Next thing you know, afternoon, he'd go by with another load. And Gerald's truck was at haul, uh, I don't know, four to six cord. That guy was a wood-cutting fool. <laughs> but anyway, you know, he's going to be missed, that's for sure. I've known that man since I was just an itty-bitty kid when he worked with my dad. Of course, I grew up with his kids, but... Pretty cool to see them, his mark up here. But uh, anyhow, I'm gonna get busy and cut this tree.
see some stinging nettles. I didn't even notice them. But pretty big tree, had a lot of lean to it, so it pulled a lot of wood. <clears throat> right where I wanted it, <clears throat> I'll limb all that up. I'll clean all that up where that butt log is. That way he can pull it out if he needs to. So. <sighs> Oh, <laughs> 
part of that cut, I told myself, I go, I bet you it's going to run out of gas on this cut. Well, you get to know your equipment. And, uh, yeah. So, good thing about bringing extra saws is I'm going to go grab the 395 and get back to cutting. I'm going to set this here in the shade and let it cool off. Definitely going to be wearing the gloves, loading this stuff and stacking it. Got a lot of sap or pitch.
got too excited cutting and stuff. I didn't video me pulling the log out, but these uh, top two pieces I drug out in two wheel, the bottom, the butt, I had to put it in four, four I guess I was four high first gear, but uh, it was just because it was all mudded up right there, so couldn't get that good attraction. It come out about halfway in two wheel and then it just nose dived, so I had to put it in four wheel. These butt pieces like this, they do hold a little bit of moisture, but come November, December, well, heck, even September, um, this will be 100% dried out. <clears throat> well, maybe, I mean, all wood has a little bit of moisture in it, but uh, yeah, you could burn this stuff right now if you wanted to but just got a lot of sap, so it's gonna burn really hot. Super dense old growth. some bounce back. One's gonna give me a run for my money. So any of you that know or have split with or split dug fur, especially of this caliber, know what I'm dealing with. This right here is just as hard as any of your damn hardwood to split. And it's real tight grain, old growth. <clears throat> but as you can see, there's tons of cracks through it and stuff. And the top half of the tree. I mean, there's a middle section there. Here's the top. Wish it'd stay overcast like that. That'd be pretty nice. But 
anyway, I'm going to get back to work and get loaded. I'm damn near loaded. I was filling out that fourth row and I was I was palming the blocks of wood and grabbing them with one hand, you know, one in each hand by the ends. And I went through a freaking block up on that top row and my arm was way above my head and something popped and fuck son of This sucks. I had exactly two rows to fill. I don't, I have one block split. <laughs> Just my luck. Now there's, I got service right here. My partner Josh left earlier. I was kind of hoping he was gonna be back. I mean, now I wish that he was. He said he was gonna try and do two loads, but his wife had to do something, so. Oh man. I ain't leaving here without a full load. It's too damn far. I'm most likely be going to the ER tonight. It hurts so freaking bad. This fucking this sucks. Pardon my language. <laughs> oh, this pisses me off. I don't know if I can split that one-handed. Oh, oh, damn mosquito hanging. Oh. I'm gonna figure something out. So I'll let you folks know. <laughs> this sucks. Well, probably the wise thing to do is throw my stuff on right now. I just texted Kels and told her it's gonna be a bit trying to split this stuff I can I can hang on to the axe and kind of go down with my body I tried to do it one-handed but yeah my aim is off with my left hand but then I can't just split it into quarters and try to throw it on I have to split it down to where I can grab it with one hand and throw it on but I'm gonna get my stuff loaded right now versus at the end when my truck's full I see why the doctors have you put your arm in this position. It's the only position that feels good.
I just hope all three go in that easy. Yeah, you guys, you guys have seen me load wood like that, like especially when I get to the back and I throw it up like that. I threw it up and something popped so freaking loud in there. It was almost like a suction. I felt something just a minute ago, um, when I was on the ground, it felt like it went and moved back into place, whatever happened, but I don't want to try and use it. It hurts too damn bad. like I'm doing a funky chicken. I'm gonna split some of the easier ones. Bring you guys back when I'm loaded. Well, it's about an hour and a half since I took that last video clip. Um, <laughs> finally got loaded. Um, shoulder popped, made like a sucking noise, and it started feeling better. And then it, it comes in stages now. So, anyhow. I'm gonna get cruising out of here, let Kel snow on my way home. I don't know if I'll deliver this tonight or not. I need to. It's a heavy load. I'd like to get it off my truck, but we'll see. Anyway, wish you folks good health and happiness as always. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll go to the doctor tonight. I might wait till tomorrow, so we'll see. Anyhow, I need to get out of here. Love you guys, stay safe. Well, I was 
planning on going wood cutting today, but as you can see, I'm in a doctor's office, so I'll keep you guys posted. This sucks. Okay, so as you folks probably seen, I uh, something happened to my shoulder. I was uh, loading wood and I palm the blocks of wood and I was stacking on top of the, I think it was the fourth row. Yeah, I think it was the fourth row and my arm got stuck, it like locked up. So I, when I pulled it down, it popped real loud and just instant pain. Um, heck, I pray stood there and screamed and cussed around for about 20 minutes it hurt so bad and um <clears throat> i was just so far out in the woods i didn't i didn't want to leave without a full load of wood so thankfully i got the truck loaded it took me a lot longer than normal but got home picked up our oldest boy and we went and got it delivered that evening um this is a few days later i believe it is fr friday night yeah, I think it's Friday night, <clears throat> day before Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to everyone out there, all you dads, all you awesome dads. Um, anyway, we're going to go salmon fishing early in the morning. Looks like dad is the netter. So hopefully the kids can hook into some salmon. It'll be a great time. I'll try and get some video for you folks. Um, <clears throat> next Monday, I have an MRI. They did x-rays and everything. They couldn't find anything. Um but when he's having me move my arm around in a doctor's office there's a lot of clicking and popping and so i have an mri monday uh afternoon so we'll go from there um i hope it's something maybe physical therapy could take care of um i i don't want to go through surgery uh brother rich just had to do the same thing <clears throat> his shoulder did the same thing was locking up popping and uh he was down for quite a while so MRI Monday and then I'm gonna try and get back to cutting wood. I got sales I need to get filled and bills to pay so I can't be down um, I'm gonna try and build a hooker room maybe so I could pick them up with my left arm um, Just take it super easy on my right arm um, Try not to put too much weight on it So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. Love y'all stay safe uh, we wish you folks good health and happiness as always. And, uh, yeah. As you can see, we got new curtains. No, they're just blankets. Our house, this is the south side of our house. So the sun beats in and it's just that added extra kind of insulation or to keep the heat out. And it's helped a lot this summer. So, anyway, we'll uh, catch you guys on the next one.